I just recorded five minutes of video without my microphone turned on. Professional YouTuber. There's a very strong possibility that Iodine will escape her cage while I'm filming this, so uh, if you see her climbing out, don't worry, she's fine, she's good. She's just going on her own adventures. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a happy and upbeat one after last week's unfortunate news of potassium passing away. So today I was out and did a little bit of pet supply shopping. I also did some last week, so I've got everything here together now to show you in this lovely haul. The majority of these supplies were bought from Jumbo and in case you're new to the channel and have no idea what Jumbo is since I haven't done a Jumbo haul in forever, Jumbo is basically... It's a bit of everything. And as this is animal related, I feel like it can be included in the haul. My brand new t-shirt, I heart your catitude. Yes, I do. It's the end of the day. I'm very tired. I do apologize. <laughs> All right, so let's begin with the hamster supplies, starting with an endless number of new dishes that I bought because obviously I need more dishes. Why wouldn't I need more dishes? First off, I got a plain and simple olive bowl that has the word snack time printed inside, along with a picture of olives. And I got this purely because it's a nice medium between a deep bowl and a shallow bowl. This is going to be really good for iodine since the shallow bowls, she does tend to make a lot of mess with those and kick her seeds everywhere, but the really deep bowls are just too deep for her. On the topic of shallow bowls though, I did pick up this small glass plate and I also picked up this slightly larger ceramic bowl that again is not that deep. One of my favourite places to check out for unique and novel bowls is the ashtray section of any supermarket and I did pick up a couple of ashtrays this time. We have this very simple black and white one, I just like the monochrome look of that. I don't have that many super simple bowls. And because this was absolutely gorgeous and there's no way I could leave it behind, this very chunky starfish bowl. This is obviously going to end up in a themed cage at some point because it is it's stunning. I love it. The next thing I have is a little bit silly and a little bit quirky, but I couldn't resist. It's this gumball machine sweet dispenser. Now this is obviously intended for, you know, chewing gum sweets, whatever. But honestly, how adorable would this be with yogurt drops in it? Just picture that for a second. And it has this very secure spring-loaded dispenser, so you can easily get a single yogurt drop out just to treat your hamster with. Slightly random one to throw in the mix here, I picked up a plastic soap dispenser and this is actually to put my antibacterial hand wash in because I bought a big bottle of it but it doesn't have a pump top and that kind of bugs me because then you have to really handle the bottle instead of just, you know, gently pushing on something and not getting too many germs everywhere. But having some antibacterial wash around is great if you have multiple small pets that live in different cages, because it's really important to wash your hands between handling them, not only to get rid of the smell and the scent, but also so you don't pass any illnesses or bacteria on from one animal to the other. Now, Halloween is just around the corner and I don't intend to do any major over the top themes for Iodine's cage, just because I kind of like the old school higgledy piggledy look of her setups, but I am going to be doing a a little bit of, like a subtle Halloween theme so I picked up two packets of green tissue and two packets of orange tissue oh and by the way I will be doing an update later this week on how she is doing with her allergies and her fur and everything like that um, but I picked up these tissues though so that I can shred them up make them into nice colorful paper bedding just to add a little hint of Halloween to her home. No, my batteries just started flashing at me. You did not last at all tonight. Okay, if there is suddenly a weird cut, it's because my camera switched off on me and I cannot be bothered to sit and wait for it to recharge tonight. So if it cuts out on me, I'm just gonna finish filming this tomorrow. The next item is a roll of wrapping paper. Some of you may have no idea why I would buy this for my pets, but this is what I use. This kind of stuff is what I use to decorate the back of my cages to give them backgrounds, obviously not in in Iodine's cage because she has this jungle gym playground kind of thing going on uh, but certainly for the back of the Billy XL which is going to need decorating and resetting up at some point in the next coming weeks so I thought this would be a really nice bright colorful happy thing to start with. I picked up two ordinary plain and simple water bottles these are plastic 140 ml and they are twin ball bottles which are supposed to be anti-leak ones we will see about that. Uh, Nothing really exciting about those though. A new ball of sisal string because I really, really need to get on top of making some sisal toys. I've not made any in ages and I have no idea where my old ball of string went. So 
new one to get some projects started. I have a small tin of baby food. This is in a flavor that I have not used before. I actually bought this for potassium the day before he passed away. Um, so I haven't actually opened this yet, but I will be opening it for iodine to enjoy. And this is just sweet corn with mashed potatoes and turkey. It's a nice little healthy treat for her. Here's that weird cut I warned you about. Still on hamster supplies, I bought a pack of two plastic serving dishes. I've bought these in the past. These make fantastic large sand baths. I think I'm gonna try giving one to Iodine. She has yet to have a sand bath. And the reason I hesitate with my Syrians is because in the past we've had, uh, she's our fifth? or sixth, Syrian fifth, I think. Our past Syrians have always used their sand baths just as litter trays and not to actually bathe in, so we'll see how it goes with her. The final hamster supply I bought is this huge box of debittered brewer's yeast powder. You can actually use this for most of your pets, and I think I'm going to do a dedicated video talking about this just because it can be a really useful product to buy. I purchased this as an addition to iodine's diet because along with many other benefits, brewer's yeast is fantastic for helping with hair growth, and of course iodine has recently had an issue with allergies and hair loss, and being a long-haired Syrian means her hair takes a lot longer to grow back to full length so this is just going to help her with that. The next couple of items are toys for our dog John Hurt. He already has absolutely tons of toys but I love getting him new ones because it makes him so happy. So the first one that he's trying to wrestle off me, I've actually bought him this before. This is a teeny tiny version of him. Look, it's, it's so cute. It's almost identical. I bought John one of these before and Somehow he has managed to lose it. I've not seen it in months, but he really, really loved it. So I had to get him a new one. And if I take the tags off it, you can have it and you can play with it now. And the other toy I bought for him is from the baby section. It is this stuffed duck and it has a little rattle inside it because John loves rattly toys. You want this? You want this? A little disclaimer though, if you are going to be buying squeaky or rattly toys for your dog, make sure you check them regularly for any tears or rips, repair them if need be, or throw them away if need be. You don't want your animal actually getting that rattle out of there. So if you have a really destructive dog, toys like this probably aren't best. Okay. What do you got? Huh? Huh? <laughs> and the final couple of items are for the cats. First of all, I picked up, this is so silly, I know, a brand new tie for Bertie because I, I've i moved on from my collar obsession. I still collect lots of collars, even though we only have two cats, we have about 20 collars, it's a bit silly. Um, but I've noticed the shops have started selling a lot of cat ties and Bertie is just the cutest in a tie. So now this is his third one. Thank you for bumping my microphone, John. That's that's very helpful. Oh, and these do have a safety release mechanism on them, so don't worry about that. I bought them a brand new teaser toy. This one has a fuzzy furry mouse on the end, and they love anything that's fuzzy and fluffy like this, so I think they're going to adore this toy. They do have a lot of teasers, but most of them are pretty old and pretty damaged as well, so I think I'm gonna have to throw some of those older ones away. And the final item in this haul is this medium-sized storage box. You might be thinking, how? How is that cat related in any way? Well, this is my little trick for saving money on cat litter trays, which are very, very expensive. You don't have to buy them often, but they can cost a lot of money, at least they can over here. What we do instead is just purchase storage containers. We'll remove the handles, remove the lid from it, and that right there is a perfect, very cheap litter tray. And I had to get a new one because um, their old one's still perfectly fine, isn't broken or anything, but it's quite shallow and they do make a lot of mess with it. So I got a slightly deeper one, which is hopefully gonna solve that problem. So that's everything I bought this time. If you guys enjoyed this particular haul video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.